Welcome back to What Are You Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the M53 M55. It's the tier 9 American SPG and we're located on the south spawn of Prokhorovka. And the name of the commander is General McMushy. Now I can tell uh, that this is actually the M55. And the reason I know that, that is this is the 8 inch howitzer. It's a short barrel, a fat barrel and it doesn't extend over the front of the chassis. Now the chassis of the M55, which is the same as the chassis for the M53, comes from the M47 medium tank. And in fact actually it's a tank the other way around, because actually what you're looking at is a tank that's actually with the engine at the front, tracks underneath with one of the bogies removed, or one of the idlers, the idler's been removed, so it's actually a tank in reverse with the gun at where the front of the vehicle would normally be. And General McMuchie is now looking for the targets. And we've got an LTB to start with. She's got a 33.2 second reload. So she needs to pick her targets carefully because she's only got 20 rounds of 8 inch caliber ammunition to play with. Not very much. She's working out where the enemy's going to go. She thinks he's going to go forward. And he did! Good shot! 456 hit points right into the sides, tracked him, stunned him. That was a very useful shot, that one. It certainly paid off. The 4502 won't be so smart about pulling forward anymore because he realizes there's an 8 inch howitzer at the other end of the map firing shells at him. Okay, a whole bunch of tanks have turned up at the railway crossing. And they're sitting there thinking they can snipe from there. Well, that's a very bad move because if there's an 8-inch howitzer in the game, you're going to get hit. And the shell lands just to one side. That's Barrett RNG, but not a lot you can do about that. That must have damaged the, uh, the tank it was fired at. Must have hit him. I'm pretty sure it did. There's the 4502, and you see he's now a little little less uh, happy about coming forward. He is coming forward now. We're almost reloaded. He's coming forward to do, have a quick look, see if he can take a shot. And he's pulling back. And he's very much in the same position he was when we last fired at him. But he's just gone out of view temporarily. We're fully dialed in, but we're waiting for sign of him. There he is. Okay, adjusting the aim carefully, not to get reticule bloom. Rounds out. Direct hit again! 448 and that was really right into the side of him. He can't have been happy about that. And General McMushy is moving position. He's changing position just slightly. Or she's changing position just slightly. Which is a good move because it means that she can't be counter-batteried. She's got enough time to do that in between reloads. She's got another 10 seconds or so. 8 seconds now before she's ready. And we've got a Samur SM. Now that's a tier 8 French heavy uh, premium. And she's changed her mind. Looks like she's going to go for the 4502 again. That poor tank driver, he's about to get splattered by another round. Can't be happy about that. Working out where he's going to go. She's fired the round out. That must have been close. Well, the 45-2 doesn't appear to have lost any hit points. So it may only have um, been near but not quite close enough. He may have used his first aid kit as well to um, prevent any stun because he was so close to the centre line. But I'm pretty sure that would have stunned his crew. She's reloading, almost there. You can see the 4502 is taking it personally and he's retreating and he's retreating a straight line and that's a splash kill! 246 hit points, he's now out of the game. Big mistake. You never drive in a straight line. If Even if you're in a heavy tank and you're under RT fire, you always jinx from side to side to try and throw their aim off. And unfortunately, he forgot that cardinal rule and he's paid for it. Now, General McMushy is looking over onto the hill at the moment, but a 704 has come into view. She's re-aiming at the 704. It's a tank destroyer. Soviet tier 9 tank destroyer and he's getting very close to the edge there. He's not going to want to fall off. She fires a round in and it looks... Yes, it was a bang on target. Direct hit. But because it was unspotted, we don't see any explosion. 
and it's being suggested that the uh, rest of the team should move forward so we can get spots on the enemy on the west side of the battlefield. Now one of the good things about the M53 M55 is it's one of the few turreted arties. As you can see the turret swivels and that gives it a wide field of art fire. In fact the only other arty which actually has uh, a turret uh, that I can think of straight off is the uh, cricket, the Panzer Sebs Farfalietta. And that's at tier 4, German one and it does have a turret of sorts. And of course we know that the M44 has a swivel mount. She just got a hit there on that uh, object. I don't know which object it was but she definitely got a hit on him. And she's relocating to a new position. And now of course because they've mostly done fairly well on this side of the map. She's actually going over into deep into the west side of the, the battlefield. And from here she can't be counter battery because they won't know where she is precisely. Uh, if they look down the field of fire from where the shell came, obviously they'll think she's at the back of the map. She's not, she's further forward. And that Type 5 is about to get a shell. Oh, it lands next to him. RNG puts the shell at his rear, but it still does 106 hit points of damage. And she's picking up some stun assist, I think. Or did he use his repair kit? First aid kit. I think he may have. He's showing... No, he's showing stun. So, yes, she did pick up some stun assist. 449. That's not bad. And she's almost reloaded, so she can go for another shot. She's marked the target. You are, if you can't mark the actual vehicle, you mark the ground where you think they are. And the round's out. Direct hit. 275 hit points. Unfortunately, it hit the heavy armor at the front of the tank, so it did less than you would expect. 275 is still good. And, of course, she's picking up absolutely loads of stun assist. And stun assist means you're actually picking up half those points that the uh, fire or that our teammate gets for shooting at the enemy. Half the experience points. So it's very worthwhile getting stun on the enemy. And that Type 5's gone down. He's out the game. There is another Type 5 in the game and also a Borsig on this side of the map. And we're trying to work out where they are. Now, Type 5 is a pretty heavy tank or big tank to hide. There he is. We're loaded. Rounds out straight away. And it was a near miss for 346 hit points. And it stunned him. And we're picking up some stun assist. In fact, over 800 hit points of stun assist so far. And more. And more. And more. Oh, these shells are just raining in. That means we're picking up loads of experience for free because she got that hit on target. Now, oh, a T-110E3. Now, that's the non-turreted version of the American tank destroyer. Or is it? Yes, there he is. He's desperately trying to avoid that bat chat who's now got behind him. And we can't fire because if we do, we'll damage the, the uh, bat chat. But we can fire at this ball sig. Rounds out straight away. And yes, he's gone. But our shell landed just after he was killed. So we don't pick up any points for that. We've got nine rounds of ammo left. We're three tanks ahead of the enemy. It looks like the enemy's got most of the northeast corner of the map. And they have put some on the hill. But they're being stopped from actually moving forward. And General McMushi is now looking towards the hill. But a Samur SM has come into view. And she's re uh, reassigned her aim to the Samur. Because it's a very weakly armoured vehicle. Can do a lot of damage to it. 107 hit points. It was a, a, a long splash. It actually landed some distance behind him. And that was RNG because she was bang on target when she aimed, but it went the shell just went very long. Now another 13 seconds and the enemy in the south has appeared and she spotted that the 257, the one she fired at earlier and got a shit uh, uh, got a shot on. And she's almost... Now she's reloaded. Rounds out straight away. And it's a... It landed right behind the 257. Did 408 hit points of damage. Now, hopefully, one, one of her teammates will be able to put some uh, damage on that uh, 257. Oh my god, the 257's gone down. He's been killed. He was taken out by the IS-4. 
And now most of the enemy is in sight. In fact, all of the remaining enemy except the Yudas 03 are in sight at this moment. And we're going for the Samur first. A direct hit, 407 hit points right into the side. That weak armor couldn't stand an 8 inch shell. Next target's an Object 704, the same one we fired at before. And he's backing away. You can see trees going down just to the right of the aim point. And I think that's because he's backing away into the houses. The IS force gone up to have a look. Oh, then he moved forward after that. There's the 704. We're in tar on target. We're loaded. Now, rounds out straight away. Oh, it went long again. 25 hit points of splash. It went incredibly long, which was ridiculous because it was aimed directly at the target, fully dialed in. Absolutely no reason for that to go where it went. And that's it. The game's over. They won. They managed to kill them all back. <laughs> and <laughs> gentlemen, but she said a rude word in chat. I think that's because she was annoyed at that last shot. Oh, look at this. It's an ace tanker for General McRishie in the M53, M55. Really brilliant game. She did very, very well. She picked up a huge load of stun assist off that battle. She got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. She got nine. A gauze medal for doing more damage than the hit points of her vehicle times eight. Um, and also a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else. At least six tanks then taken down by other teammates. And the win eight for that battle was 4-2-6-1. It was a really good battle for the M53, M55. And she did very well in relocating as well during her battle to actually ensure that she couldn't be counter-batteried and took advantage of the move up the west side of the map to actually move further up into the trees so that uh, nobody could see where she was so let's have a look at team score see what she did well highest damage uh, on the team actually 4087 hit points of damage but unfortunately it wasn't enough to get the high caliber um, so that's a bit of a shame but uh, when it came to kills she managed to get at least one um, and um, I think which which one was it Oh, it was the 4502. Yes, that poor guy was retreating. He kept he kept being hit. He got it's showing only two hits, but actually she did hit him three times because she splashed him with one of those two penetrations, three hits actually in total. Um, so uh, yes, she did get one hit. But when it came to base XP, she was second. The bat chat 12 ton. He did very well actually. He got a patrol duty out of this battle, and uh, he managed 1,559. Uh, whilst, um, and I think he is a tier 8 as well, which is why he was earning more XP. Whereas, um, General Mushi managed 1,319, and the highest the enemy could get was their uh, Lorraine 40T. He managed 395. So, let's have a look at detail. She fired 15 rounds. She, she only had 5 rounds of ammo left in the, in the chamber, in the magazine, at the end of that battle. She got 6 direct hits, 6 penetration, 9 splash. Damage of 4,087 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. She hit 7 of the enemy and killed only 1. But she did do 4,834 hit points of stun assist. And most of those were off the Type 5 heavies because she really splatted them. And then everybody piled in whilst they were defenseless to shoot them and get... Uh, and get them out of the game as quickly as possible. And she did that 4834 stun assistance of 14 stuns. So all shells but one actually stunned the enemy. Only one shell didn't. On a premium account, she earned 82,239 credits. That's a huge total. And after ammunition resupply, and the ammunition's not cheap, it's very expensive for the 8 inch caliber, uh, she actually still took away 54,189 credits. She received six bonds, one for the um, uh, Confederate and I think five for the Gauze Medal at this level because it is tier nine. Um, so it's obviously a higher tier game. You earn more credits, more bonds. And she received 1,978 XP. There was no multiplier, so I'm afraid that's all the experience points she took away. But I think it was an absolutely brilliant display of how well the M55 can, can play in the hands of someone who knows how to use it. So uh, congratulations, General McMushy. And if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.